If you're a photographer, here's what you need to know about photography insurance. Photographers are increasingly more popular nowadays with people wanting wedding photos, engagement photos, baby photos, family photos, and literally photos for whatever you could think of. And if you're a photographer, I'm sure you've had some pretty strange requests. And most people start off being a photographer by getting a nice camera and then starting shooting, shooting some friends and some family members, and then never really thinking about insurance requirements until they go to a venue and the venue asks to see a certificate of insurance. At that point, you scramble, try to find a, a general liability policy and find something to work for the time being. Then probably stop there and don't realize that there's even more things that you could have as a photographer, as you grow your business, you want to make sure that you are covered and you are prepared for whatever might happen in the world of photography. So a few things that we um, recommend and we see a lot of our photographers, first off is a million dollars of liability insurance. That's what most event venues will want to see nowadays. 1 million per occurrence and 2 million aggregate um, on a certificate of insurance is what most venues will ask for. And that's kind of standard, that's baseline. That protects you from slips and falls. If someone gets injured while you're taking photos, for example, you're doing a photo shoot and you ask somebody to back up a little bit more and in doing so they trip and fall and break their arm, they could come back and sue you for injuries and that falls under your general liability policy. Also, maybe you are running to get the best shot at a, at a wedding and you bump into somebody and knock them over and that person then sues you for liabilities and injuries they get. That's also under your general liability policy. So that's the first element. The second element um, is the property that you have, the business property, and that would be your cameras, like this bad boy right here. How much is this worth? Your um, lighting you might have all sorts of equipment, your lenses, all the stuff that is pretty expensive that you need to operate, you may wanna think about scheduling that and putting that on your insurance policy. That way, if you're at a wedding and somebody steals it, you have insurance to step in and pay for a new one to shoot the wedding you have next weekend. If you're out in the rain and it gets ruined that way, um, insurance policy can step in and pay for the damages caused to your camera. So the first is liability, second is coverage for all of your supplies, all of your tools, that you need as a photographer to get the job done. Now, the element that most photographers don't think about is the professional liability side of things. And the professional liability is stuff that's outside of the general liability and your camera coverage, but it's stuff that pertains strictly to taking photographs in what might happen in the course of being a photographer. One of the main things is that your memory card fails. So you take photos all day, you come back and your memory card fails, and then your bride is livid. You're devastated because all your hard work is now gone, not fault of your own, um, but by some faulty memory card and the entire day is ruined and you're not gonna ask them to redo their wedding. So if you get a professional liability policy for photographers, you may have coverage, you can request coverage for that to be covered under your professional liability policy. A second one that uh, can escalate quickly is with dissatisfied customers. So you're at the wedding, you have a thousand people around trying to take photos of, you got a photo of great aunt Marge and brother Terry, but you forgot the one photo with the mom of the bride and the bride. The mom of the bride is not very happy about that and she decides to come back and make a, a claim against you for not producing what you said you're going to produce. That could be covered under your professional liability policy. They're relatively inexpensive. People generally think that professional liability is gonna be a few thousand dollars a year. That's not the case. We see them generally as low as $300 for the entire year to protect you from memory card loss and dissatisfied customers. So those are the four elements of what you should have as a photographer shooting any type for a business or weddings or whatever it might be. That way you're fully protected from liability, lawsuits for the GL, protecting your cameras on the property side of things, and then the professional liability steps in when mom's not very happy with you for a photo you forgot to take or your memory card zonks out and you have no photos to give to the bride and groom. So those are the four things. If you've got questions, you want us to look over your current policy and give you insight or feedback, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're happy to help. Uh, check us out online. Our website is 
susquehannains.com. We'd be happy to help you. Our goal here is to make insurance as clear and simple as possible. Give us a call, check us out, and happy photo taking.